καλός αίτη. Φέρε μη κυπελόμε, φέρε μη κυπελόμε, φέρε μη κυπελόμε, φέρε μη κυπελόμε, φέρε μη κυπελόμε. Islands, two sides of the same coin. Thelos, sacred birthplace of Artemis and Apollo, and Mykonos, where people do everything that's forbidden on Thelos. Read me the note again. Eagle bearing Mystios. That's you. Otharkis. Cruel leader of Delos Islands takes money from our pockets and food from our mouths, all to feed his inset insati insatiable. Yes, his insatiable thirst for power. Odarkis is one of them, Varnavas. The ones hunting my family. Keep reading. We are a modest but fierce group of rebels would pay you handsomely to help us overthrow our vile oppressor. I pray the winds guide you swiftly to our shores, Mystios. Our people are dying. Signed, Kira.
We arrived just in time to help. You see? Poseidon wasn't trying to drown you. He was getting you where you needed to go. Aggressively. Does the note say where Kira is? There are two locations marked. A camp along the northwestern coast and a hideout that looks like it's underneath the city. Podarki sounds like a cruel man. He's worse. I once heard a family was late in paying their dues to the gods. Podarki sent his men to their farm and took the young ones from their beds. When their mater and pater woke up to feed the animals, they discovered the animals were already feeding on the corpses of their sons. The sooner I send this monster to Hades, the better. Even Hades would shudder in his presence. This place seems... nice. <laughs> this island has a giant history, my friend! We don't have time, Varnavas. I meant Mykonos literally has a history involving giants. Apollo was once friends with Hyperboreans from the snowy north, until one day they sent two maidens and five of their men to Delos with offerings for the son of Zeus. They were never seen again. And Mykonos? The island itself was built from the corpses of giants slain by the legendary Heracles. My mind wandered. Remind me what the note said. <clears throat> Eagle bearing me. The short version, please. Odarkis, cruel leader, first for power, pay you handsomely, rebellion, people die. It's time I met with this Kira. I'll have the ship ready in case we need any immediate departures. That was Kefalonia, and that was mostly your fault. Ha <laughs> ha! Here, Cassandra! Here, Varnavas. There's the Rebel hideout. Seems like a good place for a hideout. I'm looking for the one called Kira. I've come in response to a call for help. You missed. Are you here to spy, Athena? Or maybe you are Athena herself, dressed in a dirty disguise? I came to help a fierce group of rebels, but I show up and you're all drunk. Podarkis and his men have been hunting and killing us without mercy. His spies are everywhere. He won't rest until all who oppose him are dead. 
We are all that's left of the resistance. This is the first night we aren't fighting for our lives. And it could be our last. And suddenly, you show up. This is why I'm here. It's your symbol, right? You're the Mystios who bears the Eagle of Zeus. My apologies. These are dangerous times for anyone waging war against the Athenian Empire and the Delian League. I am Kira. Your note mentions Podarkis. I'm going to find him. His house is on the coast, uh, north of Mykonos city. But he's heavily guarded. We've never been able to get close enough without taking heavy casualties. This is why I sent for you. I thought Delos was the heart of the Delian League. Athens's pride and joy. We were, until Athens took the League's treasury away from Delos. Why? So they could build a statue of Athena mocking Apollo. The people pleaded with Podarchis not to trust Athens with the treasury, but his thirst for power made him deaf to his people. If things are so miserable, why doesn't Delos abandon the League? Podarchis sends Athenian soldiers to collect money from us all. The moment that stops, Athenian ships will burn our islands to the ground. I came here to help you deal with one man, not go to war. Which is why I sent word of a rebellion to the mighty Cassandra, and Sparta too. Podarchis discovered the other cap and sent Athenian soldiers to attack. Malaka! You and your rebels are too drunk to fight. Leave the soldiers to me. <laughs> if you think I'm going to miss a chance to kill Athenians, you're the one who's drunk. Did Sparta answer your call for help? A Polemarchos named Thaletas and a handful of Spartans landed on Mykonos, not long before you. It's their camp we're headed to, isn't it? <laughs> Thaletas needs our help now, but well, he never admitted them. Sounds Spartan, all right. fought well, Kira. You too, Spartan? I was, but that was a long time ago. Spartan blood is eternal, stranger. What's your name? This is Cassandra, the one I told you about. They call me Thaletas. I was Polemarchos to the Spartans here. Was? Our ship was sunk. Our generals killed. There are only a few of us left. We've all lost friends to this war. And we will mourn them later. She's right. We shouldn't be standing here drenched in Athenian blood. We'll be safe in the hideout. Let's talk there. 
Will you come to the hideout now, or meet us there later? There's no time to waste. We'll go to the hideout now. How long till Podarkis finds us? We're right under his nose! His nose is so high in the air, he couldn't find the statue of Artemis Agrotera if he was standing on her head! We know where he lives! I say we knock down his door and run our spears through his face! That's a terrible plan! The Spartan phalanx is impenetrable in a ground assault! Not when there's only twelve of you! You think with your heart! That's what I like about you! But you're a general! To those men now, you need to think with your head! All you do is hide in caves and lurk in shadows! We didn't come here to hide! We came here to fight! And we will! But right now, we're outnumbered! We must be strategic! Cassandra, what do you think we should do? Kira's right. Taking them head-on would be suicide. Sailing here was suicide! Right now, my men are on the beach. That's where I'll be! Then let us don't! If you decide you actually want to win this rebellion, come find me. Ah, oh, Spartans. Don't mind him. He'll be fine after he kicks something. But I'm glad you agree with me, Cassandra. Meet me at the Temple of Artemis. There we can discuss how to take down Podarkis. This is going to be a long rebellion. You don't exactly blend in, do you? Cassandra, I'm glad you came. I'm glad you didn't throw another blade at me. I know, I know. You came all this way and I was cruel to you. Well, you weren't the first, and you won't be the last. Dillians are kind people. At least we were. Before him. Podarkis. That man's been hunting me my whole life. Podarkis and others like him want me and my family dead. He executed my family when I was very little. I survived on the streets. Was raised by hunters, rogue warriors and mercenaries like you. They are my family now. And one day, I will fire an arrow into his black heart. One for every Dillian family he's destroyed! Then it's time we turn this predator into prey. How do we get past his guards? Soldiers need two things to fight. Swords in their hands and food in their bellies. Take them away and the guards fall. 
Scouts reported Podarkis' supplies and weapons were stockpiled in the old ruins on Delos Island. I'll go to Delos, find their stockpiles and destroy them. Kintos ruins. This is where I'll find Podarikis' weapons and supplies. Podarkis' troops will be helpless. Who knew rebelling was this much fun? Should destroy this without attracting attention. This break their supplies, break their will. That should do it. Kira will want to hear about this. Is it done? Podarkis' guards will have to fight with their fists and on empty stomachs from now on. Excellent. So what will you do once Podarkis is dead and the rebellion is won? The sad truth is I have no idea. For as long as I can remember, every day has been a struggle to live, to love. Vengeance has all but consumed me. And what will Cassandra do once this is over? We have a lot in common. I was hoping when the smoke clears, we could find somewhere quiet. And what exactly do we have in common? I know you've struggled to get where you are. You've had to fight and claw for everything you have. I know, because I've done the same. We're survivors. 
I'm glad the gods brought you to our shores, Cassandra. Some time alone would be nice. You must have many tales. It's time we got going. When Povarkis learns of what happened on Vilos, he'll want revenge. And the first to suffer will be the Dillians. Here. She just might be the answer to her prayers. She's only mortal. From what I've heard, she's much more. The Athenians are weak. Now we strike Podarkis where he'll hurt most. His kidneys? <laughs> it's good to see you, Kira. Since you came here, I've actually started to believe we can win this rebellion. So, you were saying we strike. Guards protect the island's treasury in one location. If we find it and steal it, the soldiers go unpaid, unfed, and unarmed. Podarkis will finally be vulnerable. Then we can stick our blades in between his ribs, feed his liver to the dogs. Before we start feeding organs to animals, can you get me to the nation's purse? Our spies have located it in Miltiadis fort. I'll have Praxos gather the troops. It's best if it's just the two of us. Easier to sneak in and out undetected. You just want me all to yourself, don't you? <laughs> Let's get going, then. Victory is close. I can feel it. We haven't won yet. The fort will be treacherous, and the gods can be fickle. It was... who sent you to me. I refuse to believe they'd send you here to die. So what do you think of our islands? I think I prefer Mykonos. They really don't like you shedding blood on Delos. <laughs> the priests are so terrified of desecrating the sacred grounds of Apollo. Women about to give birth are sipped over to Mykonos. What happens if they don't make it to show? Both the babies. Keep an eye out for reinforcements, and don't you die on me. The nation's treasure, ripe for the picking. I need to be careful. Kira's going to want to see this. Cassandra, there you are. Good news, I hope. When the people of Dilos discover Podarkis lost every coin of their nation's treasure, they're going to rip him to pieces. 
You've weakened Athens' grip over Delos, exposed Podarkis, and made way for a Spartan alliance. I could kiss you. I don't see anything holding you back. <sighs> you breathed life into me. If only you'd arrived on Delos before Thaletas. These are dangerous times. I'd hate to meet Hades without having tasted those lips. <laughs> Very poetic for someone covered in blood. I like it. Would you even recognize me in the underworld? I wonder. We should probably move. They're going to come looking for us. I don't think I've ever really said thank you for coming here. You've given us hope. I'll go back to the hideout. But if you keep this up, Podarkis is as good as dead. I may finally know peace. Step aside. Stand aside, all of you. You with the eagle. Over here. <sighs> What's with all the whispering? Shh. If the soldiers hear us, they'll kill me. You're the Mystios working for Kira and the rebels, yes? I am. Yes, you are. Many whispers of your deeds, Mystios. Many whispers. Many secrets, too. About the rebel girl. If you know something, spit it out! If the soldiers see me, they'll kill me. Apollo knows they already tried. There's a house near the market, been boarded up for ages. Sneaky sneak your way in. We'll talk after. Strange. I should find the house, see what this beggar has to say. Hiding in that chest. This woman was killed. Left in the open without dignity. Huh. An Athenian spear tip broke off in her ribs. A note was left behind. A warning for Podarkis. He was paying this woman to keep quiet. About what? Wooden dolls. A mother and child. One engraved with the letter M and the other K. Nothing else to find here. I need to speak with that strange woman. And what did the Mystios find? A body. A woman. She was killed by an Athenian spear. This is all? There was a letter from Podarkis. Said he'd kill them both if she broke her silence. Both? Why kill a child unless... Oh, it was his? Shh! They could be listening. Now tell me, quietly, what else did you find? The dolls. Engraved with the letters K and M. M is for Mater. You asked who I worked for. The little doll with the K? The child was Kira. 
Yes, yes, which means? By the gods. Podarkis is Kira's partner. Very wise, Miss Theos. Very wise indeed. Kira needs to know. She'll never believe you. Never. Her whole life she hunts the man who sent Athenians to kill her mother in front of her terrified eyes. But the gods spared little Kira. She escaped. How do you know so much? I was there, Miss Theos. I protected the little one. The Athenians were so busy trying to kill me, Kira slipped right past their blades. You were involved in this. My name was Otonia. I was a servant for Protarchus. What? Night after night, Kira's mother came to the house. Little one wanted to meet her pater. Podarkis made me send her away, but she kept coming. So Podarkis sent me to her house with a note. The warning. She didn't listen. Podarkis sent me back to her house, this time with Athenian soldiers. Kira needs to know Podarkis is her father. But I won't confront her until I have proof. The woman came to Podarkis' house one night, begged me to give him the doll Kira made for him. If Podarkis had it, he might have kept it somewhere. Only the gods would know. I will find this doll. Now the Mistyos knows who she works for. The rebels should know too. If Podarkis hid that doll somewhere in his house, I'm going to find it. This is well guarded. Need to be careful. Kira made for him. She engraved it with a letter P for Pater. <laughs> the rebels deserve the truth as well. But blood is everything to some people. They could abandon her if the new Podarkis was her father. Where's Kira? She's... Miss me already, Miss Theos? Kira, there's something I need to tell you. That look on your face, so serious. Sit, relax, drink some wine. What I'm about to say is for you alone. Follow me. Now that you have me all alone, what is it you want to tell me? There is no other way to say this. Podarkis is your father. <laughs> what sort of joke is this? This isn't a joke. I will kill you where you stand! This can't be. Kira, I'm sorry. 
He took everything from me. How did you find this? I found your old house. I know about your mother. I can still hear her screams. A storm of blue armor and red blades tore through our home. I had to run through Mater's blood to escape. I never returned to that place. It was best you didn't. It's good you told me in private. The men don't need to know this, not yet. But please, leave me for a while. I need to be alone. I'll be on high alert here. Leonidas was lucky to have that many men. Today, we honor the fallen. Today, we send our enemies to Hades. Kira will fight and die for her people. We will do the same. We don't go home until these islands are ours. Vilos called. Sparta answered. Cassandra, I didn't think you'd come here after calling my plan a suicide mission. And miss your speech. Never. Athenians give speeches. Spartans give orders. If I was under your command, what would you order me to do? Same thing I order my men. Bruised, bloody, or broken. Never hold back. I never hold back. I can tell. I wasn't talking about fighting. I know. And I'm tempted. But... But I sailed here for Kira. She's the one I fight for. For now. Well, if you're going to win these islands for her, you'll need more soldiers. They'd never get here alive. The Athenian navy is too powerful, and our ship is at the bottom of the sea. Mine isn't. You'd confront them in open waters? Not sure if you're brave or just mad. The Adresti and I have faced greater challenges than a few Athenian ships. You fight like Achilles reborn. But even you couldn't defeat the entire navy. But if I sink enough ships, the Spartans can get through. There's something else. A helmet was left on board my ship. It was my butters. I'll sink the ships. But I'm not making any promises about a helmet. You've been here long enough. 
How many ships protect Delos? You'll never sink them all. We just need to punch a hole in their patrols, enough to send them scrambling. So the helmet from your pater means a lot to you? It does. He prided from his pater on the battlefield of Thermopylae. The sea is a big place. Where did your ship sink, exactly? Somewhere off the northern coast of Mykonos. We could see Miltiades' fort as we swam to shore. The sharks will have full bellies when I'm done. Valletta sends his regards, Athenian scum.
much to do. And many others. You're back! I overheard fishermen telling tales of the Adrestia cutting through the sea. The Athenian navy is scrambling. Ah! Let their blood feed the sharks. There's more. I have your helmet right here. Take it. It saved me more times than I can count. Thank you. You have heart. But your troops are your family now. The Athenians will want to kill all of us for what I've done. Then we need to strike first. Exactly. If that's the plan, we attack their commanders. Athenians are sheep. Kill the shepherd, and the flock will flee. March on them, and they'll see you coming. I work better alone. I'll take care of these commanders. You're going straight for their throats. Still. Leave some Athenian blood for me. I need to know where to find them. Kira's spies tracked all three of them. One guards the quarry, one's camped nearby. And the third? Him, we don't know. I want names, Thaletas. This Andros commands the Athenian elite guard. Polemion is their strategist. And the last, a general named Neoclis, is missing. When the commanders are dead and more Spartans arrive, there will be plenty of blood for both of us.
hiding in plain sight. Gods couldn't save you, soldier. One general defected and is hiding on Dillos. These are orders to kill him. Save you from my spear. Let us sense his regards. You could hide on Vilos. Found you, coward. Off we go now. <laughs> I don't want to be spotted here. Commander has guards, but they're not there to protect him. Oh, <laughs> 
Thank the gods, those soldiers are blood hungry. They want me dead. They say I'm a deserter. You look like a commander to me. I don't recognize our army anymore. The things they do in the name of duty. You'll never survive on Delos. I have a ship. Can you fire a bow? I was an archer before I was a commander. And now you're an archer again. Find my ship, the Adrestia. A man named Varnavas will be waiting for you. He'll keep you safe. Thaletas? What are you and your men doing out in the open? <laughs> the Athenian cowards are too afraid to attack anyone on their sacred lands. We like coming here to taunt them. Spartans, you're all the same. I take that as a compliment. You haven't asked me about the commanders. I already heard. Their forces are in chaos and their soldiers are defecting. Sparta owes you. I owe you. Careful. You never know what I'll ask for. Ha! Try me. We may die tomorrow. If I could ask for anything, I'd ask for tonight. With you. Cassandra! I... Don't say anything. You have a battle to prepare for, and I have an Athenian army to weaken. When you're not busy saving these islands, 
Meet me on the beach east of Kynthos ruins. There's something I want to show you. Look for the smoke. I will. Eagle bearer, my name is Herodianos, second to Taleta in battle. The dogs of war howl for blood, and thanks to you, Sparta now howls back. Sounds like a lot of howling. Fight with us! Together we'll run our shields through their skulls and spears through their hearts! I'd be honored to fight with Sparta. To battle!
There is no victory without eternal war. The cosmos guide me. Careful not to get spotted. People are happy. As they should be! For the first time since Ares cursed us with war, the Vilos Islands know freedom! But where's Kira? It's not like her to miss a chance to drink with her troops. She told me you kept her secret. I'm still shocked. Ovarkis was a complicated man, but he was still her father. She snuck off to send him to the ferryman alone. All good warriors deserve their send-off, I suppose. Even Podarkis. Pray that we're shown the same kindness when our time comes. In the meantime, there is wine to be drunk. 
and tales to be told. Haha, <laughs> make the tale great. The troops deserve it. Talletas especially. Indeed he does. He's just up the stairs that way. I've been meaning to tell him how I lost this eye. And the crew? Ready to sail? On your order. But first, let the crew enjoy a drink and a song. You deserve one too. Go now, into the river of black night, and embrace the boundless gloom. You shall wander, obscure, even in the house of Hades, flitting among the sad of the dead. I don't have to say goodbye alone. I'm glad I'm not alone. I've wanted to watch him burn for so long. Now that it's happened, I thought I'd feel peace. And what do you feel? I used to feel vengeful. Now, empty. He's gone, but you're still here. The people need you. If you don't protect them, there will be another Podarkis to come and take his place. You're right. They do need me. And I need them. We're rebels with nothing left to rebel against. They need me now more than ever. Thank you. What will you do next? Mykonos will need to rebuild. Then that's what we'll do. But not to put it back as it was, not as Pater wanted. We'll make this place a new home for our people to be free. To live good lives. Kira... He's gone. Your rebels are waiting. They're celebrating. <sighs> Let's celebrate with them. Goodbye. Happy. I said goodbye to the past with your help. Now we welcome what the fates will bring. You were there when Kira needed you. You're an ally to Sparta and to our islands. Your islands? So the rebels are now the rulers. <laughs> One thing at a time. First, we celebrate. 
Besides, Sparta is calling Thaletas home. They intend to make him a general. And I've already told them no. My place is here on Vilos, rebuilding my home with the woman I love. You are the celebration, and all the prosperity the gods will bring. The gods gave me more than enough. Any prosperity is for the people on the islands, not us. Thank you, Cassandra. We owe you our lives. You look ready to go. Podarkis is gone. Thaletas and Kira have their islands, and I have other targets to hit. You are victorious! Not that I ever doubted it. Why not say goodbye? A rousing speech to get the blood flowing. Let's say goodbye. Charoter! Settle down! Settle down! Cassandra has something she'd like to say. Dillians! We have won! But now the real work begins! You must build a new home! A fair home, one where cruel people like Podarkis can never rise to power. And now, a toast to Cassandra, to victory! What a speech! Though I think some of the rebels like fighting more than rebuilding. I think they liked it. Of course, of course! Who wouldn't? I'll round up the crew. See you back at the ship? Socrates! The rebels are hunting Athenians. What are you doing here? I came to teach, as I always do, but don't worry. I sail on a merchant ship set for Attica in the morning. Wise as always. Thanks for coming to see us off. Speaking of being off, Varnavas, are we ready to sail? The crew are in fine spirits, if a little hungover. But the ship is ready. Good. I only wish we weren't leaving Kira and Thaletas alone to rebuild what's been destroyed by the Rebellion. Are any of us truly alone who have our friends and allies beside us? Exactly! Do you remember what you told me when you first set foot on these sands? I said we came here to help people. That's what we set out to do, and that's precisely what you did! They don't call you the mighty Mystios for nothing! <laughs> who calls me that? He does. Now then, it's time we give the crew some orders. Where do we sail to next? <sighs> the world is ours, and the wind is at our backs. We sail for adventure, Vardavas, just as we always do. For <laughs> Thaletas? What are you and your men doing out in the open? <laughs> the Athenian cowards are too afraid to attack anyone on their sacred lands. We like coming here to taunt them. Spartans, you're all the same. I take that as a compliment. You haven't asked me about the commanders. I already heard. Their forces are in chaos and their soldiers are defecting. Sparta owes you. I owe you. Careful. You never know what I'll ask for. Ha! Ah, try me. I would ask for Kira. Kira? And you. I want you both, Thaletas. I know the way you two feel about each other, but... Cassandra, I... Maybe we should focus on the war. Spartans. All war and no play. When you're not busy saving these islands, meet me on the beach east of Kynthos ruins. There's something I want to show you. Look for the smoke. I will.
a trail of flowers. He wouldn't. The letter should be nearby. I was beginning to think you wouldn't come. Doubting yourself, Spartan? <laughs> I was doubting your tracking skills. I'm surprised you left flowers. It's nice following something other than blood for a change. I... I'm not very good with these kind of things. There's flowers all over Vilos. I saw them and thought... Thought what? Much has happened since we first met on the beach. You are surrounded by Athenians. Drenched in blood. You fought by my side. You were... irresistible. When I first laid eyes on Gira, I knew I never wanted to leave these islands. And now? I don't know. Paletas, look at me. I know what I want. Not here. Come. Where are you taking me? To one of my favorite spots on all the Thilos Islands. Isn't the Spartan's favorite spot the battlefield? <laughs> Fair enough. I'm taking you to my second favorite spot. When I got here, I had just lost so many people. Every man I ever looked up to sank on that ship. You needed a place to get away from all this death. I understand. I knew you would. That's why I'm showing it to you. This place isn't just where I go to clear my thoughts. It... It what? It reminds me of home. This is where I come to train. I found it after arriving on Vilos. Exhausting my body clears my mind. This place is beautiful, Taletas. As are you. You've won my heart, Cassandra. But to claim it, I need to see what you are really made of. What do you mean? Fight me. Huh? You claimed to be Spartan when we first met. I want to see if you fight like one. You've seen me fight. Against Athenians, yes. Well? The only way to truly know someone is through combat. Hand to hand, flesh to flesh, bone to bone. Fine. Just don't get angry when I break that pretty face of yours. Come on, Cassandra. Don't hold back. Stop hitting like a child and really hit me. No doubt in my mind. You trained with Sparta. You'll pay for that. than just a pretty face. Thank <laughs> you. 
fight well. So when does the real fighting begin? You don't fight like a Spartan. You fight like a god. You're not so bad yourself. Are you going to just stand there? Or are you going to finish me off? You amaze me. <laughs> How so? For the first time since I was a boy, I forgot about war. Glad I could help. What about you? Are there things you'd like to forget? There is much of my past that I wish I could forget. I'd love to hear about it. And I'd love to tell you. But we have a war to fight. When this war is won, then, we'll drink and share our deep, dark secrets. I'd like that. Eagle Bearer, my name is Herodianos, second to Taletas in battle. The dogs of war howl for blood, and thanks to you, Sparta now howls back. Sounds like a lot of howling. Fight with us! Together we'll run our shields through their skulls and spears through their hearts! I'd be honored to fight with Sparta. To battle! There is no victory without eternal war. The cosmos guides me.
The people are happy. As they should be! For the first time since Ares cursed us with war, the Velos Islands know freedom! But where's Kira? It's not like her to miss a chance to drink with her troops. She told me you kept her secret. I'm still shocked. Otharkis was a complicated man, but he was still her father. She snuck off to send him to the ferryman alone. All good warriors deserve their send-off, I suppose. Even Podarkis. Pray that we're shown the same kindness when our time comes. In the meantime, there is wine to be drunk and tales to be told. Haha! <laughs> Make the tale great. The troops deserve it. Thaletas especially. Certainly, if you can find him. And when you do remind him, I still plan to tell him how I lost this eye. And the crew? Ready to sail? On your order! But first, let the crew enjoy a drink and a song. You deserve one too. Let us? What are you doing out here? Thinking. Praying. We should talk. Sparta's that way. Just past the crests of the waves. I can almost hear her singing us home. Us? Thaletas? Leave your crew. Come with me. Join my side and we can win glory for Sparta together. I don't sail by anyone's side, Thaletas. You know that by now. If you wanted true glory, true freedom, you are welcome to join me on the Adrestia. You have my love, Cassandra, but Sparta has my heart. Perhaps one day. But not today. I should be with my men. I'll see you at the celebration. the ferryman. Go now. Into the river of black night and embrace the boundless gloom. You shall wander, obscure, even in the house of Hades, flitting among the sad of the dead. Shouldn't have to say goodbye alone. I'm glad I'm not alone. I've wanted to watch him burn for so long. 
now that it's happened, I thought I'd feel peace. And what do you feel? I used to feel vengeful. Now, empty. He's gone, but you're still here. The people need you. If you don't protect them, there will be another Podarkis to come and take his place. You're right. They do need me. And I need them. We're rebels with nothing left to rebel against. They need me now more than ever. Thank you. What will you do next? Mykonos will need to rebuild. Then that's what we'll do. But not to put it back as it was, not as Father wanted. We'll make this place a new home for our people to be free. To live good lives. Kira, he's gone. Your rebels are waiting. They're celebrating. <sighs> Let's celebrate with them. Goodbye. Happy. I said goodbye to the past with your help. Now we welcome what the fates will bring. Cassandra, about what I said at the beach. Well, let us... Please, just forget it. Relax. I'm glad you two had your fun. You taught him a thing or two. Kira and I have decided I'm going to stay here with her and help rebuild what was lost in the rebellion. You have? Yes, we have. Well, I'm glad you two are together, and happy. May Artemis and Apollo guide you as you govern your islands. You look ready to go. Podarkis is gone. Now let us and Kira have their islands, and I have other targets to hit. You are victorious! Not that I ever doubted it. Why not say goodbye? A rousing speech to get the blood flowing. Let's say goodbye. Charity! Settle down! Settle down! Cassandra has something she'd like to say. Villians! Today, you have your freedom! So celebrate! Let Dionysus fill your cup! And the muses sing your songs. And now, a toast to Cassandra, to victory! A fine speech, though I'm not sure many of these rebels can imagine a free Venus. I think they liked it. Of course, of course! Who wouldn't? I'll round up the crew. See you back at the ship? The rebels are hunting Athenians. What are you doing here? I came to teach, as I always do, but don't worry. I sail on a merchant ship set for Attica in the morning. Wise as always. Thanks for coming to see us off. Speaking of being off, Varnavas, are we ready to sail? The crew are in fine spirits, if a little hungover. But the ship is ready. Good. I only wish we weren't leaving Kira and Thaletas alone to rebuild what's been destroyed by the Rebellion. Are any of us truly alone who have our friends and allies beside us? Exactly! Do you remember what you told me when you first set foot on these sands? I said we came here to help people. That's what we set out to do, and that's precisely what you did! They don't call you the mighty Mystios for nothing! 
Who calls me that? He does. Now then, it's time we give the crew some orders. Where do we sail to next? I won't rest until I know my family is safe. We do what we've always done. Follow their trail until I've brought everyone together again. For the ferryman. Go now, into the river of black night, and embrace the boundless gloom. You shall wander, obscure, even in the house of Hades, flitting among the sad of the dead. You shouldn't have to say goodbye alone. I'm glad I'm not alone. I've wanted to watch him burn for so long. Now that it's happened, I thought I'd feel peace. And what do you feel? I used to feel vengeful. Now, empty. He's dead, and nothing we can do will bring him back. We? We didn't kill him, you did! I had the chance to say goodbye to him, and you took it from me! The gods demanded justice from me! If the gods are displeased, offer them a sacrifice. A sacrifice? What do I have left that they haven't taken from me? Kira, stop. You're too close to the edge. Nothing. All of this was for nothing. I'm a rebel with nothing left to rebel against. It didn't bring her back. Her? Who? Girls are cruel gods. I will see you, mother. And father. Kira, stop him. No pain. We will be together yeah. again! It's over! Blood spilled, battles won. They made me general, you know. Just told me. <laughs> you deserve the rank more than anyone here. General? <laughs> Looks good on you, Thaletas. You deserve it. Too true! Even if we can't be together, I will sail home to Sparta with you in my heart. And before I go, I should say goodbye to Kira. Now let us listen to me. Kira... She took her life. She what? No. No! Gods curse these Iliads. This island has been nothing but misery. Leave me, Cassandra. I'd rather drink alone. I understand. You look ready to go. Podarkis is gone, Thaletas is set to become general, and I have other targets to hit. Then it's time to say goodbye. What about a speech to those you've inspired? We've been here long enough. 
No speech tonight. Oh, Cassandra! Heroes like you are meant to give speeches. It's what makes you heroes. But I'll round up the crew. The Adrestia will be ready to sail when you are. Socrates? The rebels are hunting Athenians. What are you doing here? I came to teach, as I always do, but don't worry. I sail on a merchant ship set for Attica in the morning. Wise as always. Thanks for coming to see us off. Speaking of being off, Varnavas, are we ready to sail? The crew are in fine spirits, if a little hungover. But the ship is ready. Good. Socrates is next, then Thaletas to Sparta. I only wish we weren't leaving the people of Dilos alone to rebuild everything they've lost to the rebellion. Are any of us truly alone who have our friends and allies beside us? Exactly! Do you remember what you told me when you first set foot on these sands? I said we came here to help people. That's what we set out to do, and that's precisely what you did! They don't call you the mighty Mystios for nothing! <laughs> who calls me that? He does. Now then, it's time we give the crew some orders. Where do we sail to next? <sighs> the world is ours, and the wind is at our backs. We sail for adventure, Varnavas, just as we always do. I would ask for Kira. Kira? And you. I want you both, Thaletas. I know the way you two feel about each other, but... Cassandra, I... Maybe we should focus on the war. Spartans. All war and no play. When you're not busy saving these islands, meet me on the beach east of Kynthos ruins. There's something I want to show you. Look for the smoke. I will. I'm looking for Kira. Not here. Gone hunting. Once you're with her, she said. I'm in. Where is she? Praying to the gods for a good hunt. The altar of Artemis, east from here, on the north bit of Tavern Point. Thanks. Guide Artemis, guide my bow. I pray to you with all my heart that Cassandra doesn't scare off the animals with her heavy footsteps. I thought I was being quiet. If that was you being quiet, we'll have nothing but trampled grass to eat for dinner. Nice altar. The flowers remind me of sweeter days. But your real concern should be, how skilled are you with that bow? 
I've seen you hunt. You don't need my help. Oh, I bet you capture any prey you lock those sharp eyes with. Sounds like a challenge. Come, the Ibex is swift. We're not going to catch any by standing and chatting. There's a spot down here where I used to hunt as a young girl. It was hunt or starve in those days. <laughs> Same for me. I started by catching and cooking rodents. <laughs> they make a good soup. But look how far you've come. How far we've come. <laughs> Show me how you use that bow. There's no Ibexes here. Excellent shot! This was a great idea. I'm glad you invited me. I'm glad you accepted. My people will be well fed, and the gods will have their sacrifice, thanks to you. You're a great hunter. Why did you actually want me here? Don't be naive. There's something between us, even though I know I shouldn't act on it. Because you love Thaletas. Or at least I thought I did, until you arrived. The hunt clears my mind, to reflect on the words that passed between us. Is that a good thing? I know a spot down by the water. It's quiet. We'll be alone. What do you say? I'm all yours. The Lians have suffered for so long. This is the first time I've felt happiness since the war began. You can bring that to your people. These islands deserve peace. So do you. And what about you? When this is all done, we could always use another set of capable hands. My journey isn't over yet. But I may settle down someday. You can do many things, Mistyos. But settle down? I'm not so sure. Another challenge? Stop looking to the future to be happy when true happiness is right in front of you. You taught me that. So the pirate has one blade at my throat, and one at my stomach, and he says... How do you want to die, Mistyos? Fast or slow? My gods! What did you do? He was so focused on me, he never noticed my spear in his leg. He was dead before he knew what happened. His leg? 
A little trick my mother taught me. Why is it so easy to talk with you? Because we've lived similar lives, been through similar struggles. Even though we grew up so far apart. I want you, Cassandra. Here, now, under the stars. I've wanted you since I laid eyes on you. Mykonos is definitely my favorite island. <laughs> and you're my favorite, Mistios. Thaletas can't know about this. I agree. In time, he will. For now, he needs to focus on the rebellion. So do we. But uh, first... Eagle Bearer, my name is Herodianos, second to Taletas in battle. The dogs of war howl for blood, and thanks to you, Sparta now howls back. Sounds like a lot of howling. Fight with us! Together we'll run our shields through their skulls and spears through their hearts! I'd be honored to fight with Sparta. To battle! <laughs> There is no victory without eternal war. The cosmos guide me. Out of sight. Step aside or I'll break you. Guards, kill her.
The people are happy. As they should be! For the first time since Ares cursed us with war, the Velos Islands know freedom! But where's Kira? It's not like her to miss a chance to drink with her troops. She told me you kept her secret. I'm still shocked. Bovarkis was a complicated man, but he was still her father. She snuck off to send him to the ferryman alone. If Podarkis were my family, I'd have tied him to a tree and left him to rot. You and many others on Delos, but this is still more celebration than funeral. There's wine to drink and tales to tell. Haha, <laughs> make the tale great. The troops deserve it. Taletas, especially. Certainly, if you can find him. And when you do remind him, I still plan to tell him how I lost this eye. And the crew? Ready to sail? On your order! But first, let the crew enjoy a drink and a song. You deserve one too. Letters? What are you doing out here? Thinking. Praying. This was my time, Cassandra! What? This glory was supposed to be mine. Podarchis was mine to kill. These islands were mine to win for Sparta. You were mine, and Kira took you from me. Be reasonable, Thaletas. I tried to be reasonable. I am not reasonable. I am Spartan! We bow before no one! for the ferryman. Go now, into the river of black night and embrace the boundless gloom. You shall wander, obscure, even in the house of Hades, flitting among the sad of death. I shouldn't have to say goodbye alone. I'm glad I'm not alone. I've wanted to watch him burn for so long. Now that it's happened, I thought I'd feel peace. And what do you feel? I used to feel vengeful. Now, empty. He's gone, but you're still here. The people need you. If you don't protect them, there will be another Podarkis to come and take his place. You're right. 
They do need me. And I need them. We're rebels with nothing left to rebel against. They need me now more than ever. Thank you. What will you do next? Mykonos will need to rebuild. Then that's what we'll do. But not to put it back as it was, not as Father wanted. We'll make this place a new home for our people to be free. To live good lives. Kira, he's gone. Your rebels are waiting. They're celebrating. <sighs> Let's celebrate with them. Goodbye. Thanks for being with me back there. I needed you. I wanted to be. You know that. Oh, did you hear? They're promoting Taleta to general and sending him back to Sparta in the morning. Taletas is dead. He attacked me on the beach because of us. He what? No! Why would he? Taletas! You fool! You stubborn, bullheaded, glorious fool! And you just had to kill him, didn't you? He left me no choice. I sent out two notes. And who responds? Taletas the Spartan and Cassandra the Eagle Bearer. I never imagined you'd both bring me so much sorrow. Kira, I'm sorry. So am I, Mistios. So am I. You fought well in battle, Mistios. But Darkis is dead because of you. We owe you that. You look ready to go. But Darkis is gone, Kira's with her rebels, and I have other targets to hit. Then we sail! But first... I may have told Kira you'd give a speech to the rebels before saying goodbye. Let's say goodbye. Jarrod! Settle down! Settle down! Cassandra has something she'd like to say. Tilians! The Athenians have fallen! For now! But they are still among you! Justice is yours to bring! Find the scum who fought for Podargis and make them suffer! They must pay for what they've done! And now, a toast to Cassandra, to victory! A fine speech, if a little violent. I think they liked it. Of course, of course! Who wouldn't? I'll round up the crew. See you back at the ship? Socrates! The rebels are hunting Athenians. What are you doing here? I came to teach, as I always do, but don't worry. I sail on a merchant ship set for Attica in the morning. Wise as always. Thanks for coming to see us off. Speaking of being off, Varnavas, are we ready to sail? The crew are in fine spirits, if a little hungover. But the ship is ready. Good. I only wish we weren't leaving Kira alone to rebuild her home. Are any of us truly alone who have our friends and allies beside us? Exactly! Do you remember what you told me when you first set foot on these sands? I said we came here to help people. That's what we set out to do. And that's precisely what you did. They don't call you the mighty Mystios for nothing. <laughs> Who calls me that? He does. 
Now then, it's time we give the crew some orders. Where do we sail to next? Podarkis was only one cultist, Varnavas. Wherever we sail, we will find more of them. And I will kill them all. You shall wander, obscure, even in the house of Hades, flitting among the sand of the dead. You shouldn't have to say goodbye alone. I'm glad I'm not alone. I've wanted to watch him burn for so long. Now that it's happened, I thought I'd feel peace. And what do you feel? I used to feel vengeful. Now, empty. He's dead. And nothing we can do will bring him back. We? We didn't kill him. You did! I had the chance to say goodbye to him and you took it from me! The gods demanded justice from me. If the gods are displeased, offer them a sacrifice. A sacrifice? What do I have left that they haven't taken from me? Kira, stop. You're too close to the edge. Nothing. All of this was for nothing. I'm a rebel with nothing left to rebel against. He didn't bring her back. Her? Who? Kersa, cruel gods. I will see you, mother. And father. Kira, stop, stop him. No pain. We will be together Kira! again. Rest in Elysium, Kira. Thaletas? What are you doing out here? Thinking. Praying. This was my time, Cassandra! What? This glory was supposed to be mine. Podarchis was mine to kill. These islands were mine to win for Sparta. You were mine, and Kira took you from me. Now let us listen to me. Kira is dead. What? No! You... You killed her! Ready to go. 
Podarkis is dead, but this is no time to celebrate. The Spartans and the rebels have both suffered. Ours is a time of loss, it's true. Would you rather we just set sail? I've done more than enough here. I'll round up the crew. See you back at the ship. Socrates! The rebels are hunting Athenians. What are you doing here? I came to teach, as I always do, but don't worry. I sail on a merchant ship set for Attica in the morning. Wise as always. Thanks for coming to see us off. Speaking of being off, Varnavas, are we ready to sail? The crew are in fine spirits, if a little hungover. But the ship is ready. <sighs> if only we weren't leaving the people of Vilos alone. Without Kira or Thaletas to rebuild what they lost to the rebellion. Are any of us truly alone who have our friends and allies beside us? Exactly! Do you remember what you told me when you first set foot on these sands? I said we came here to help people. That's what we set out to do. And that's precisely what you did. They don't call you the mighty Mystios for nothing. <laughs> who calls me that? He does. Now then! It's time we give the crew some orders. Where do we sail to next? I won't rest until I know my family is safe. We do what we've always done. Follow their trail until I've brought everyone together again. Socrates! You just make friends wherever you go, don't you? Cassandra, what a pleasant surprise. What brings you to Thelos? I'm helping a group of Thelian rebels. Hmm, but do they truly need help? Is not the decision to rebel enough to release one from oppression? Oh, no, you don't. I'm not getting sucked into one of these debates again. Yet right now, there's a situation I would love your opinion on. Fine. Soldiers captured the rebel. He stole from the sanctuary to help finance the rebellion. When guards attempted to apprehend the man, he killed one of them. Murder on Delos? They're probably going to kill him. Indeed. Though it's illegal to end his life here, so he awaits his fate to be transported to Mykonos. Where do I come in? Would you say this rebel deserves death? That killing him brings justice? Let me answer that by asking you this. What exactly is justice? A brilliant question. He stole, which is wrong. But it was for the freedom of his people, which is right. He killed a man. To save his own life. He broke a sacred law, one he knew honored the gods. So you're saying he can kill and steal, but stay in the earth, and he should have his throat cut? I am saying nothing, but when we stray from the law, are we not like the animals? <laughs> you know my opinion on that. Can I go now? Of course, of course. There's just one more thing. Ugh, there always is. The rebel is being held north of here in the Estiatorium. They're shipping him to Mykonos tomorrow. Wait, all this just to convince me to save the man? Convinced, never. Though I am curious, now that you know where he's held and why, would you save him? I'm going to pay this rebel a visit. Sounds like we have a lot in common. I thought you might, though I have no drachby to give, only knowledge. Which one should prefer, for it is perpetual, not transitory. Well, that's... something, I think. Ah, Cassandra, seeing you on Thelos sets my heart at ease. So tell me, how was your encounter with the rebellious prisoner? Still, have to pay him a visit. Hmm, hopefully they haven't sailed to Mykonos to carry out his death sentence. Of 
Ε, όντω το απροσδόκητο του πελάτη. Και τα Watch will be vigilant here. You dogs! Let me go! You'll never get me back to Mykonos! Kira will come and kill you all! Go back to where you came from, beast! Get out of the Yeah! Yeah! Fire! Shit! Out! going to kill me, but you killed them first. There will be more. Hurry, follow me. I saw you. You loved spilling blood on sacred soil, just like me. I'm nothing like you. Now shut up and follow me before you get us killed. Death to our oppressors, and anyone else who tries to claim the Delos Islands. Delians are free. More Delians will die if you don't shut up. Silence is what led to this. I'll scream till my lungs bleed, and all soldiers are dead. Malaka! Perhaps they did, but mistakes are a failure of intellect, not character, are they not? These are sacred lands! Our laws are clear! Ah, are they? Is it not possible to know what is right and thus do wrong? Then the foreigner acted out of ignorance, not malice. So you say we need to tell every person on the island what the laws are? If a law is truly just, is it not knowable through deduction alone? Ah, Cassandra, seeing you on Thelos sets my heart at ease. So tell me, how was your encounter with the rebellious prisoner? You never told me he was an extremist lunatic. Ah, but who am I to judge? What is too much or too crazy? Are we not both at some point or another? He would have thrown you and your philosophies into the sea. <laughs> Perhaps when I was thinner, both in weight and philosophy. So, tell me, were you able to resolve the situation without bloodshed? The rebel had guards. I relieved them. Hmm, interesting. You thought the life of a thief and a murderer was worth more than that of soldiers doing their duty. I wasn't even thinking about him, to be honest. And what of the rebel? Should be on his way back to Mykonos, if he knows what's good for him. Our choices are like ripples on water. They seem tiny and insignificant at the beginning, but they can become devastating tidal waves by the time they run their course. It's a pleasure, Socrates. I can always count on you to give me a devastating headache. 
<laughs> the pleasure is mine, Cassandra. Hope to see you around the symposiums again. Don't hold your breath. True wisdom lies not in knowing what to say, but in knowing when to say nothing at all. Try to stay out of sight. You dogs! Let me go! You'll never get me back to Mykonos! Kira will come and kill you all! Hold on to where you came from, King. This is the land of Apollo. Keep your opinion to yourself. You've caused enough trouble. Now follow me. Death to our oppressors! And anyone else who tries to claim the Delos Islands! Delians are free! More Delians will die if you don't shut up. Silence is what led to this. I'll scream till my lungs bleed, and all soldiers are dead! Malaka! Very loud mouth. You could have gotten us both killed. Then our sacrifice would set fire to the hearts of the rebels. Then cast every non Delian into the sea for Poseidon to chew up and spit out. You realize I'm not Delian. The Spartans who fought and died for the rebellion are also not Delian. Athenians want these islands for our wealth. The Spartans want these islands for Sparta. I won't let them have it. We don't need them. We don't want them. Delians should rule Delos alone. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going straight to Kira. The rebels must leave their caves. The time to attack is now. I can't let you go back to Mykonos alone. I knew it. You're one of them. You don't belong here. I'll send you and your kind to the sticks. Aha! You're mine! Can't wait to hear what Socrates has to say about this. Sacred... Ah, Cassandra, seeing you on Thelos sets my heart at ease. So tell me, how was your encounter with the rebellious prisoner? You never told me he was an extremist lunatic. Ah, but who am I to judge? What is too much or too crazy? Are we not both at some point or another? He would have thrown you and your philosophies into the sea. <laughs> Perhaps when I was thinner, both in weight and philosophy. So, tell me. Were you able to resolve the situation without bloodshed? There may have been a few drops, but everyone survived. Hmm, interesting. A mercenary who carries blades of death wherever she goes, and yet, in this particular case, she chose life. What can I say? I was in a good mood. And what of the rebel? He's dead. Probably for the best. Hmm. 
best for Thilos, best for the rebellion, or best for you? Yes. Our choices are like ripples on water. They seem tiny and insignificant at the beginning, but they can become devastating tidal waves by the time they run their course. It's a pleasure, Socrates. I can always count on you to give me a devastating headache. <laughs> the pleasure is mine, Cassandra. Hope to see you around the symposiums again. Don't hold your breath. Fashion, Tutu. True wisdom lies not in knowing what to say, but in knowing when to say nothing at all. You're bleeding. A lot. Come to turn me into the priests? Depends what you've done. Don't know if anyone told you, but it's illegal to die on this godforsaken island. So I've been told. Shame nobody told the beast roaming around. Vrach me to the one who kills it. If you're paying, I'll hunt and kill this beast for you. You're not the first hunter to tell me that. But I still have all my Vrach me. I've hunted many beasts. What am I hunting this time? <sighs> I'd call it a bear, but I'd be lying. This creature is Artemis's nightmare. Where's the beast now? Got as far away from that thing as I could. You'll find it north of here, near the coast. Just follow the trail of bodies. The bloodier the mess, the closer you are. You're not from around here, are you? Came through Arcadia. But Corinthia is my home. I'll find the beast and kill it. Try not to bleed out before I return. beast but you did not belong here a bloody handprint hasn't been here long a corpse this one's had its guts ripped out a feast for the birds explain how that bear got to the roots. This record says the bear came from Arcadia. That woman was smuggling the beast. But why? There's nothing left to find here. I should return to the woman. The monster? The bear's dead, and you owe me payment. But first, let's talk about you. Arcadia, right? Yes. 
The bear was being smuggled from Arcadia. I found a record of what was on your ship, and your bloody handprints. Talk! All right, all right. We were smuggling the bear for a man named Sargon. Poseidon had other ideas. One of his storms crashed us here, and that evil beast broke free. It went right for the crew. That explains the bodies. They were my family! You've suffered enough. What the villains don't know won't kill them. Hey, miss the os with a heart. You're as rare as that monster. Here, take what Vrachmi I have left. Here. And don't let the villains catch you bleeding everywhere. And the monster? The bear's dead, and you owe me payment. But first, let's talk about you. Arcadia, right? Yes. The bear was being smuggled from Arcadia. I found a record of what was on your ship, and your bloody handprints. Talk! All right, all right. We were smuggling the bear for a man named Sargon. Poseidon had other ideas. One of his storms crashed us here, and that evil beast broke free. It went right for the crew. That explains the bodies. They were my family! You know, the Villians would pay a good price for the person who brought this curse to their sacred land. You wouldn't! I would. Pay me, and maybe your secret dies along with that bear. Despicable, Mistyos! My family is dead, and you want more Brahmi? I might be injured, but I can still kill you! The bear? Yes. The bear? Talk! All right, all right! That explained... They were... You know, the Villians would pay a good price for the person who brought this curse to their sacred land. You wouldn't! I would. Pay me, and maybe your secret dies along with that bear. Despicable, Mistyos! My family is dead, and you want more Brahmi? I might be injured, but I can still kill you!
be caught here.
θα πρωτών ξεχάς. Συ θεά, δώσ' ειρήνη των ίδιων και χώρων ειδικιείαν, επεβόλβησιν εν ώρες, λαυκό φευρεστήτευνε, ομιλείς στη βασίλεια, ο αιωνόμορφε και αγιοτάτη. I should try to stay out of sight. Somebody spared no expense.
weaken Athens's hold. Be careful not to get spotted. That's enough! Stay where you are! You lost, Miss Dios! Turn away! Kill you. The work of a professional killer. Yeah. 
Ma. Should be extra careful in this area.
You should get out of here!
it'll be trouble if I'm spotted here. I need to find who's doing that. Oh! 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 
Must not burn through shit!
better stay hidden. my step around here.
me while I check the body.
Ιωσήφιος. This will not soon be forgotten. I won't ask any questions. Let's keep out of sight. <laughs> this fort has seen better days. They should have spent some of that silver on upkeep.
keep this up, I'll change the balance of power. Someone over there!
Why is it all? God. Well, that's what I heard anyway.
They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful.
They'll keep a sharp watch here. Did I see something? This was done by... They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful.
Let's hope no one notices me here. They won't ask any questions. Let's keep out of sight.
Your life is mine! Thankful, Mistios. Thank you. The gods will not forget your actions, Mistios. <laughs> 